All right, we're doing a little Uber Eats, and we will be competing for best order of the day. First up, we got Subway. Sarah is looking to eat fresh with a spicy Italian six inch regular sub on Italian herbs and cheese toasted with pepper jack, lettuce, tomatoes, green peppers, red onions, cucumbers, regular mayonnaise, sweet onion sauce, double meat, guacamole, sun chips, harvest cheddar, and then a BLT six inch regular sub, Italian herbs and cheese toasted, pepper jack, lettuce, yeah, fucking same shit, more sun chips, Gatorade Cool Blue, and a Gatorade Fruit Punch. So Sarah likes her subs toasted. Ah, got that Subway delivered, $4.28. Ah, we got Fuzzy's Taco Shop. Matt is looking for chips and queso, cinnamon sugar churros, a taco plate with a crispy taco, a tempura fish taco, another crispy taco, a refried beans and mix mix fried rice, and then a combo plate with soft taco, tempura fish taco, shredded beef, beans, and Latin fried potatoes. Really good order, Matt. Uh, look at the cinnamon sugar churros. That just, that just doesn't sound good to me at all. I mean, that chips and queso, that's what you want. If you gotta have that, something to bite on and crunch into or whatever, just go with the chips and queso. Ah, got that Fuzzies delivered, $6.90. Okay, so I had Uber Eats on for like three and a half or four hours and I only got two deliveries. So I turned on the DoorDash and of course, there's a fucking delivery right away. We got Mellow Mushroom. John is looking for a thing called a friends and family package. And I don't know what that is, but this guy's got two large fucking pizzas. Here, I think it's one times pretzel bites. And then in here, I think he's got oven roasted wings and cheese bread. And then by the looks out of it, there's like some salads in there as well. So that must all be part of the friends and family package. Yes, yeah, so I don't I don't know what kind of pizza it is. It's a little disappointing. It smells really good. It looks freaking great. And I saw on the bill too, it was something like 60 some bucks for all this too. So John is hanging out with his friends hanging out with his family, hanging out with his friends and his family, and he decided to order the package. All right, got John's package, his family package, uh, friends and family package, Mellow Mushroom delivered, base pay $3, tip $5, $8 total. All right, Uber Eats came back up and we're rewarded with McDonald's, Bo is looking for four times cheeseburger, medium, large Dr. Pepper, and then a medium, large French fry. Okay, Bo. So in the McDonald's, there was just this Grubhub woman just doing it. Uh, red Grubhub bag. Red Grubhub t-shirt. Red Grubhub ball cap. I mean, just head to toe, fucking dressed in this Grubhub fucking paraphernalia. And I'm like, what, what, what do you think you're going to get out of this? I mean, you have anything clean. I don't know. Wear their shitty clothes. Where do you get a Grubhub shirt? Uh, but I'm just saying, I think in her mind, it's like trying to look professional and you show up to a house dressed like that and you're going to get a better tip? What, what's the logic behind that? And she, she just looked ridiculous and nobody gives one fuck what you look like uh, when, when you walk up to their house. They, they just want their fucking food. And it's like one of the major points 
of doing this job, delivering fucking food to people, driving an Uber around, you wear whatever the fuck you want. You don't have to wear a uniform. Hi, right, got that McDonald's delivered. New order came in for a good total for it. We got Topper's Pizza. Miranda is looking for a 12 inch build your own za, hand tossed with mozzarella cheese, homemade pizza sauce, pepperoni, pepperoni, garlic butter. Well, that was freaking awesome. I got Miranda's Topper's Pizza here. I showed up, she lives in an apartment complex. It said meet at the door, and there's a door, door code, never got the number, nothing, it just said meet at the door. I sent three text messages while I was there, called her three times, no answer from anything, let Uber know, well they asked me, can't reach Miranda, I said yeah, I can't reach her, they put her on an eight minute clock, after that eight minute clock expired, they told me I could end the delivery, still get paid $7, what I was getting paid to do it, and they told me I could throw the delivery away. Well, let's start throwing that delivery away right now. It's pretty good. Well, how the fuck does that work? So does Miranda get charged for that whole order? Or does her Uber Eats account just get dinged? Like, I lived in this house many moons ago, oceans ago, like 20 fucking years ago, and there was this old fucking drunk guy who owned the house and just rented it out to like everybody. There were like eight fucking people losing his house. It was a real disaster. And he would just get loaded, just drunk as fuck, and then just eat fucking pills like you wouldn't believe and just pass out dead of the world every single night. Uh, but like a millisecond before he would do that, he would order a fucking pizza. And of course the pizza would show up, bang on the door, ring the doorbell. This guy's dead. He's not fucking answering for anything. So we ended up getting boycotted from like all of these fucking pizza places. So if I, I would have tried to call a pizza place like the next night, they would have been like, fuck you, this number is no good, man. We come to your house all the time and you're fucking passed out. So, what's the deal with Miranda? It just, it just won't deliver to her anymore? What, what is it? Either way, thanks Miranda. Hey, right. DoorDash is all over my ass to extend the dash or end the dash. They're all fucking bent out of shape. So I extended it and I get a fucking Chipotle from McKenzie and it's one of those Merchant ordered it. We don't know what it is. Like, okay. So, looking on the bag, we got a bowl, we got tacos, we got a tortilla. Sounds delicious, Mackenzie. All right, got that Chipotle dropped off. Uh, Mackenzie seemed very pleasant at the door, yet uh, no tip. So, fuck you, Mackenzie. Uh, Three dollars. Mm. Right. So DoorDash just made me stop working because that's just what they do. Which I really don't understand. Turn back the Uber. They don't give a shit when you work. Just go on or off. I, I, that's the way to do it. Uh, we got Gray Whale and su uh, Gray Whale Sushi and Grill. Excuse me, Rachel is looking for a spicy California roll. And then everyone's favorite, my personal favorite, did a specific video just on this alone. Look it up, the Hotel California Roll. Hi, right. got that gray whale delivered, $4.85. All right, we got another Topper's Pizza. Uh, so I guess we'll see if we get another free meal tonight. Uh, Stephanie is looking for Korean barbecue, half pound boneless wings with ranch, and then a nine inch smoky barbecue chicken pizza hand tossed with Parmesan garlic and the original topper sticks, eight sticks 
mozzarella cheese and garlic butter two times. So Stephanie lives 24 minutes away in the fucking country. It's this tiny little village in the country and Uber was estimating $15 and something to do it. I don't give a shit. That sounds good to me. Uh, DoorDash would have literally paid like $3.50 for this. Yeah, this is where that uh, Topper's Pizza's going. Uh, yeah, if you never hear from me again, this is where I was. All right, so see this dog right here? This is Bates. I've learned and uh, Bates is just all over my ass when I was trying to deliver that pizza and now I can't get the fuck out. These dogs drive me crazy. You don't know if they're going to run onto your fucking car, you know. Alright Bates, that's the end of the road, buddy. Go back on home. He's, got, he's just flying up behind me. Bates is just giving it hell. Bates wants to come home with me or something here. He is just giving it everything he's got. Just sprinting a million miles an hour. I don't know, Bates. My Toyota's not very fast, but I think I'm eventually going to get the better of you. He's still going. This dog is nuts. I still see him. I'm really gaining some ground on him at this point. But Bates is still coming, man. This dog is super dog. Okay, he stopped in the road finally. And I don't know what's going to happen to Bates. But I got to get the fuck out of here. I uh, got that pizza delivered. Ridiculous shit out there in the middle of, that's what happens in the middle of the fucking country uh fifteen dollars and 37 cents now we got to drive back into the fucking city so let's just wrap this shit up uh honorable mention i'm going to give to john for the mellow mushroom he ordered the friends and family package it has a lot of fucking food it smelled good it looked good so John, you, you would have honestly won best order of the day with that because it was just, it was a great order. Even though I didn't know what kind of pizza you got, it was still a great order. Uh, but best order of the day goes to Miranda for ordering the Topper's Pizza and then not allowing me to deliver it to her for whatever reason, for not answering her phone or the text or coming out to meet me. Who knows? Who cares? Uh, I got paid $7 to eat Miranda's pepperoni pizza. So that is the best order of the day. Uh, I'd send you an award, Miranda, but uh, I didn't actually do the delivery. So thank you.